Let's go ahead and add a 1500 to the system. So I'm going to go under new device, controllers, and advanced controllers, 1500, configure. Here are all my options for the PLCs. Let's go ahead and, and select the CPU 1515, default memory card. Here are all the memory card options. We also have different options for OPC UA runtime. We have Pro Diagnostics, Energy Suite, and I'm going to keep Standard. So Standard comes in a box. If I do download, then I need an email. So let's go ahead and do download and click OK. Uh, if I click here on the left hand side, 100, see how this change is option for power supply. I like to select this 3M power supply so that that power supply is powering the PLC and is independent of all the other power supply. So that you have two power supplies. And what's nice is it's got a little switch to just power cycle the PLC. Let's go ahead and click here. We have different options. As you can see, there is a 32 channel IO card for 1500 CPU. Uh, we have different options. So we have basic front connector. We have screw or push in type terminals. Or we have this flexible connection system, which is the same connector, but it has this bare 20 or 40 wire connection here. So I'll select the UL version, and here is a different lens that you can select up to 6.5 meters. Or we can go to this fully modular cabling system. What that means is there is a connector, then there is a pre assembled like a ribbon cable style cable that goes from the connector on the PLC to the IO modules. So your all your field wires for all your sensors and actuators will go to this IO module. And then from there, it will go through a ribbon cable to the PLC. So you don't have to touch the PLC. So you can select the 50 pin, push in terminals, shielded or unshielded. Again, push in terminals. And there's options also for if you want LED on there. So if I select this and add, OK. So here is it. It added this push in terminal, 50 pin unshielded half meter cable, and then the front connector that will go on the PLC. So let's go ahead and add a digital output card. Same thing, we have a 32 channel option. I will add a 32 channel. For this one, I'm going to select the screw terminals, and then let's go ahead and add a 5 meter cable to it. Let's go ahead and add an analog module. Oh, just same thing like 1200. We have also a DI DQ card, so I can do that. But that see how it's slimmer and it's the basic feature. So DA in the back is basic, uh, HF is high feature, uh, and then standard is ST. So let's go ahead and go to our analog input modules, and I am going to select. The best option is this one, which is an 8-channel voltage current RTD thermocouple. So all-in-one car. But I, I like the high feature. It has more diagnostic options. So I'm going to select that. We do the front connector. And then just do push in default. Select OK. Uh, analog output car. We can do an 8-channel car. Hit OK. So as you notice, it knows like what was the last selection, which was a front connector. And it automatically picks that for us. There's also different communication cards, RS-232, 485, uh, Profibus DP Master, if you want to add another Profinet controller or industrial Ethernet, and then Profibus DP Master Slave. Uh, there are different technology objects for high-speed counters and position inputs, timers, and then Cyvarix for the weight management, and then same thing, the system power supply, and different accessories for it. So if I go to my order list, I can see now I have options and if I select this by devices there is my 1200 that we did before and here is all my 1500 parts list with little pictures so that I know what each stands for same thing export to Excel and CVS file or a PDF file so let's go ahead and accept PDF and let's go ahead and save this And so here is the file. Now it shows me all the slot numbers, what's the quantity of each I.O. card, and here is the dimensions for each slot. So here's the power supply, the CPU, input output card, same height, slot, and so the width. So then I know the total width 
is 285 of all the devices together. Uh, here is the inputs and output bytes, uh, power loss, same thing. Here is my dimension or picture of how all the slots look like. And then each slot with its own little description and a part number. And here is my complete list of what goes with what. Uh, here is my pinout for all the pin assignments, what terminals they are. Uh, and then here is a complete order list. So here is my 1200 and here is my 1500. So it gives us nice documentation for our projects.